So there's a few lights on the dashboard which I'm going to be working through, but at the minute, to start in the car, there's the light test. Start it up. So the check engine light is flashing, which should hopefully have fixed by today as well. There it is. And there it goes. And that seems to happen every time I start the car. But I believe the culprit is the oil level sensor. So, considering I'm due a service, now's the perfect time to do it. Also, these three lights at the bottom, I believe, are to do with a faulty ABS sensor. So I'll be replacing that soon as well. Okay, so now under the car facing towards the rear got the trays from underneath off so this one's the metal um, reinforcement plate which is 16 mil bolts eight of them and that gives you access to the sump so there's the drain hole that you should be able to see through the excess hatch with the reinforcement plate but you can't get to the oil level sensor so you need to take that off but that's not too bad, providing yours isn't bent out of shape in a million different ways so that your 16 mil ends up getting zebrad. Make sure to keep a bit of upwards pressure on the dot as you're taking it off don't drop it and it falls into the oil. Right, so the camera died just before I managed to get that off, but that's now done. But what I would recommend is leaving it on there, just held in place with one of the one of the nuts. So then you can get enough clamping force on the two tabs at either this side. And then you can pull back because it's uh, pretty well on there. Spray that with some electrical contact cleaner, wipe down this mating surface and then start putting everything back together. Set the oil service. So it's hold that, turn the key to the first position, tap it in CC, reset, and hold it. And when reset flashes, you're all done. So now let's turn this on and see. Yep, I think we're good. It's fairly straightforward, nice and easy, and definitely worth doing while you're uh, doing the oil service. And the parts are pretty cheap as well for the oil sensor, so that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.